Welcome to part 4 of this Descent to Madness. So, in part 2 of this series, I talked about the Astrope. Astrope? I got like three different ways to say it through comments. But I talked about this horse. It's a dumb horse. Ugly. And because it's so old, the textures are kind of... bad. But back in the day, it was special if only for being a two-seater mount. I propose the idea that it's kind of dumb to include absolutely no reward for people offering their time, energy, and a limited pool of patience to do Menta Roulette. The only real counter-argument I got was that this reward will attract so many bad Mentors who will do the roulette for only the reward. And I'll admit, yes, that definitely did happen. But did it happen as much as people act? Did it draw in tons and tons and tons of Mentors who wanted the mount? I highly doubt that. I really, really doubt it was more than even 10% of the people, at least to start and until lines started to blur due to many topics I'll be going into. But let's stay focused here. People who are doing it just for the mount don't inherently have zero intent to teach. I am doing it for the achievement points and also it makes good content apparently. I'm not doing it to be helpful as the main reason. I have many other ways to help between Novice Network and this thing called... Uh, I think it's called YouTube? This YouTube thing here? In which I started making guides to an audience of nobody. But somehow managed to hit a place where many say I have the best beginner job guides. Whether you in specific, or even I, agree with that is irrelevant. Fact of the matter is, by pure luck of the draw, the algorithm sent me out and let me help a large pool of players. I don't need this roulette when I have so many other sources to help players. Entertainment and achievement points are honestly the higher priority. Yet that doesn't change my MO. If I see someone doing something wrong in any duty, in any roulette, I will speak up. To assume I'm a bad mentor because I'm not here for the sole purpose of helping is extremely short-sighted. You can literally do both. And yes, I did use literally like that because a lot of people seem to think it is impossible. So how many people really went into the roulette and had no or a negative effect? And before you answer, let me just say quick, 2,000 duties! How many people have the fortitude to last that long? People complained that the animal weapon was too much grinding and that was a fraction of the effort and none of the risk. So being quick to judge everyone as bad because the roulette actually offers something? I don't get it. I have no faith in humanity, yet I never saw it as that dire. And no, extreme is not the example you think it is. I'll be getting into that one later. So yeah, really think about the statements you're saying. Are you so sure about it to the extent you say? Here's this episode's duty list. All the same rules as introduced in episode 3 apply. In this episode though, we have a very terrible experience coming up. In the meantime, please be sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and all that fun stuff. Hit me up on social media or join me in my community discord. Then I also stream on Twitch. Come hang out with all the gameplay. See you for the outro, and enjoy the chaos. Under the armor... Let's ignore that I accidentally lost my intro because, um, I was accidentally, uh, I accidentally had my, my audio, my audacity input into speakers. So what I was recording instead was a Shenpai stream instead. Oh, stinging back. It's been a while since I got this one. I hate this one. I mean, at least it's like free and like an easy win. I don't like it still. I still don't have to like it. Oh, AV, hello. I was just thinking about you. I was going to make a comment about how that guild hest, uh, like, trains you for patrols and all that. Bec and, like, is good for AV. Ah, uh, here's AV. Uh, are we going to go? You're the, you're the tank. You got to go. Oh god, this is not going to be good. Oh my god, what? 
Alright, I gotta be spam healing this. Yeah, this isn't good. And so began one of the roughest runs of AV I have ever had in my, like, eight years of playing or however long it's been. The tank, obviously, as you've seen, is struggling in a lot of ways. So I decided to put on the teaching hat and all that. And you're going to see in this section, I'm pulling for her because she's having trouble figuring out how to deal with it. So I'm like, hey, don't forget you have a ranged attack. Here, let me show you how it's done, how you can pull enemies away and fight them without, you know, angering everything like she's been. So I do it twice. I'm like, here, this is what I do. And I even do the frog like, hey, you can avoid the frog's tongue as long as you pull it away as well. And it'll still pull you in, but it'll not get you into all the enemies and pull uh, literally everything. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, here's a way you can pull enemies safely. I'm not going to try and introduce multi-pulling and all that because she is struggling this much with the first room. It took like 30 seconds for her to finally pull the first mobs after we entered the first room after all. So she's very new, she's very afraid, so take it slow, worry about the more difficult concepts a bit later, if ever. And I also explain stuff like how the ranged enemies, you need to try and hide around a corner to bring them closer. Because she tries pulling the flowers and kind of fails at that because, again, they're ranged. You have to take those a specific way to try and pull them away. I mean, at least they're listening, but oh boy, this is... But then we get to the boss fight. Our DPS was very low. And people were eating fruit basically at random. And I attempted to be like, hey, we should be eating fruit at two stacks. That sure didn't stop the Black Mage, who was the main problem of this run. More than the Dark Knight. She at least was taking the advice and, you know, listening. The Black Mage? Well, let me show you their rotation. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I'm good. Thank you. E excuse you? Excuse you? That's mine. This black mage is terrible. This is one of those runs where, uh, everything goes wrong. Oh my god, so... I won't remember press one button 50 times, then press the other button 50 times. You can't even do it for the duration of this dungeon? Really? <laughs> really? Just heal while the DPS is so low that it's taking this boss forever to die. I literally ran out of MP because I'm healing so much. I would have actually probably been better off using Cure 1. When it's so- when your DPS is so bad, Cure 1 is actually a reasonable use when it's actually reasonable to be using Cure 1, things have gone bad. And this is why people are afraid to give advice. So I hit the button not thinking, 
I didn't have anything recorded. I just hit the button and, uh, oops. Oh, wait, no, this is an extreme. Oh, I thought this was X. I mean, at least it's a free run. Okay, well, that scariness out of the way. Uh, let's, uh... I should take a break, but I started a second recording. <sighs> I guess I'll do some tanking. I haven't done Dark Knight yet, so I'm probably gonna fail a lot. Waiting on Q! You see that as a tank? It's not a DPS this time. It's a tank this time. Oh, never mind. Oh, no! So if you somehow didn't know what you're supposed to do with this one, you're supposed to alternate. However, I could just do this, because I'm a tank. You're supposed to alternate the colors. Nobody remembers they need to run away from that. Who's using the Moogle weapon? Hold on, I need to... Come on. Wait, are you the Moogle weapon? Not that I see... That doesn't look like... Okay, it's the Moogle Katana. I heard that Moogle and I'm like, wait a minute. Now, I've not done any Reaper yet. And I like Reaper. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully better than yesterday. Hopefully I don't get another Aurum Veil. At least an Aurum Veil that was that bad. Waiting on Q! Also, look at my shiny weapon. Oh no. Really? Really? Uh, thanks, I guess, for the free win? Question mark? It's gonna be slow and the, you're not gonna be seeing any of it in game, like as part of the video, but... Say the line, Bart! Such devastation! This was not my intention! Well, we just... We're teaching this newbie about stack markers now. They're still a bit overzealous with the healing, though. God, that's so cool. It's such a good LB. Alright, well that was at least some teaching I was able to do. I advised them like, hey, they should try and learn to DPS a little bit. That'll at least get them to heal less, maybe. But like, yeah, it's it's one step at a time. They got a lot to learn, but they just be confident and you can learn. Oh, Arf. Hello, Arf. It's been a long time since I've been here. Oh, I've never fought this either. I've never done this dungeon. So if you didn't know, this is another of the ones that they changed. The other one can stay alive. That one will explode. Do those not explode anymore? Those used to enrage. I don't know if they still do enrage. Maybe they do still enrage, but they used to enrage and they would explode and do lots and lots of damage, like more than half your health. If he dies that quick, it doesn't matter. Who's going to get the safety donut? Who's going to- not me, please. Who's going to get the safety donut? Yeah, they got the safety donut. I knew the mech, but forgot it explodes twice. I don't know if they're, like, accusing me of, like, cheating, but they like, Wes, you gotta be pumping. It's like, no. Reaper's just broken <laughs> at this level. Like, Shadow of Death is 300 potency alone. Let me up. Haha. <laughs> Check it, losers. See ya. See ya, losers. Haha. <laughs> Can't get me. Okay. Hello. Ha <laughs> bye!
I, I have never done this boss fight before. This boss, I know, is actually completely new to me. I think we fight Eager Yorm first still, though. Oh, those are small. Those are small AoEs. Holy crap. Okay, I think this is Donuts? Yeah, okay. So, originally, you would fight them... One at a time, and they they would uh, tag in and out. But now you fight them at the same time, and they sh basically share a health pool. So just stand in the middle. Well, not stand in the middle, but... Dodge to the middle. That's the word for it. Because they showed us those patterns in the first phase. That's not a new pattern. Ooh, universal manipulation. This is going to be brand new. Because usually you had to hide for this. Ooh, what the crap? Ancient circle. All right. Okay, spread. Yes. And then chains. We want to stack up. Arcane Revelation. What is this? Oh, an ad face. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. People call this fight, like, super hard and stuff. And it's not really any different to, like, any other fight. Oh, I got three comps. Nice. Score, let's go, warrior. Oh, no! Alright, well, here we go. Luckily, this guy's taking the lead. So I don't really do it in my commentary since I was in focus mode. But there are a few things you would want to know for this fight. Specifically, the ad phase. Tank takes two of the sisters north. Charada, the off tank, takes south. That's why I take this one and just go. Oh, that was Slipstream. Slipstream is a move you can entirely dodge. I don't. Once the cast bar starts, you could just run behind the boss and completely dodge the attack. It's a frontal cone with no indicator. Secondly... Do not kill the spiny plume. The ignore marker is there for a reason. It means ignore it. If you kill this and you do not have this shield after she jumps up and lands in the middle, you die. Luckily, we kill her before that matters, but in any other party, this might not happen. You might not have such overwhelming DPS that she dies before you needed the spiny plume. Oh, we might. Oh my god, we're gonna skip it. That was very painless, like, extremely painless. Oh god. Oh god. Let's go! I'm a failure. We forgot that these three exist. 
I mean, that was still... That was still... We, that wasn't even close. That was fun. This was a fun run. This was a worthy final run. I mean, it's not gonna be the final run of the video, I don't think, but for me, this is the final run of this series of clips. If you check the, the, the thingy, you'll know what order everything was done in. The spreadsheet, I mean. Uh-oh. What is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. It's not even that bad. It's not even extreme. Why'd they leave this? Like, there's no reason to leave this at all. Oh! Four comms. Well, that was worth it. Seriously though, why, 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 why did I get that one? What? Why would you instant leave that? That was free. That was a free roulette. I hit the wrong button. Wait, the, the NPCs just keep going without you? That was worth the, that mistake was worth making. I have never seen this before. I'm glad I messed up now cuz that was uh I did not know that was a thing. It, it isn't isn't that a random target bro wanted me dead i don't think i'm gonna get am i gonna like no it's gonna die you could just arm's length this see didn't move easy that arm veil run really really took it out of me even editing this episode was tiring this is what people mean when they fear giving advice if the Black Mage was this bad at doing a basic Black Mage rotation, what garbage were they teaching their sister? The clear and intentional griefing of just heal when their actions were directly making it harder? That sucked. How many groups has he ruined and will ruin with making sure his sister never tanks well? This is why I don't stop. This is why I continue to give advice. You outright refuse? Well, Good job being an ass, and often earning a report. At the least, I hope my pain was entertaining. It wasn't for me. Take care, and may the power of Anne and Nidhogg slay waste to your enemies.